everyone, welcome back. I hope you are all okay today. All right, let's have a quick look and see what wants to come out today for you. Oh, that wants to come out, right. Oh, okay, let's just have two more. Right, okay. Um, all right. What I can see here is, first off, I've got a possible no closure situation here where your person didn't give you, didn't give you any closure. You've had no answers. I can see there was repeated conversations that you had with this person, okay, about how they'd hurt you you know, how they weren't treating you right, you know, the general state of the relationship. You were having repeated conversations with your person, um, but they were pretending not to understand. They were pretending not to understand, but they understood perfectly what you were saying. You were very gentle in the way you had these conversations. You tried many, many times to get through to this person. But the overall energy today is they knew what you were saying. Um, I think they're quite toxic, actually. But they chose to make out that you were making it up because they didn't want to take accountability. Because they knew if they did that, they would have to change and they didn't want to. So let's see what that's about today. Um, just while I'm shuffling this deck, let's go a bit deeper. If you would like a personal reading, uh, just click on the oh, title of this video. Everything's in the description box and the free relationship report as well. Okay, I can even see some of you writing it down because you got this might just be for a few of you, it might just be for one person, but you got to a point where this person. Yeah, you know, you, you try to explain to them in so many different ways, very nicely, very kindly, very gently to start with, like I say, about how they'd hurt you and that their toxic behaviour was causing you a lot of stress. They knew. Okay, so if you're watching this today and you've been through a toxic relationship and were possibly gaslighted by somebody, if you're today thinking... Did I imagine that? Maybe I didn't say it right. Maybe they didn't understand. They did. They did, they did. I, you know, it's quite a blunt reading today that they did understand what you were trying to say to them, but they chose not to accept or let you know that they understood because they didn't want to change, because they're selfish. Um, this person ate away at you. They caused you a lot, a lot of anxiety. Um, I think in between, you know, not listening to you, they also nitpicked at you. They nitpicked at you. And they also, I've got here, displayed um, a, a sense of, reinforcement so by that I mean this card set in the middle by that I mean sometimes they would be nice to you just to keep it all going but then they'd turn again you just didn't know where you were you know there's a saying I don't know if you've got it in the US but in the UK you don't know if you're on on your head or your ass. You just didn't know where you were with this person. And like I say, for some of you, I think you even wrote it down. And I think at times you wrote down what they'd said to you because the next day they just totally deny it. They just totally deny you'd had the conversation. So I think the purpose of today's reading is, yeah, they were playing the blame game. Okay, because they didn't want to change. Let's get some more on this person, please. Let's get some more on their energy, please, at the moment. What is their energy at the moment, please? I'm looking to see how they feel about the situation at the moment. So whenever you see this reading. Oh, 
Oh, they think they were fair. They think they were just. They think they took accountability for their actions. And the, sad, the crazy, crazy actually thing is here, they were believing their own truth. It could have been a Libra. They were believing their own truth. And this is very strong for those of you who were gaslighted and did end up writing things down or, or just keeping notes of things because they would swear that black was white when it was actually black. As far as they're concerned, they took accountability and they were fair. This is not a good energy today. Um, I'll have two more, please. They didn't nourish this. They didn't nourish this connection. Gosh, no, you're the one that did it all. You absolutely... Oh, Seven of Swords. Oh, I wonder why that's come out. You, oh dear, you put your heart and soul into this. You really did. You looked after them. You could have had their children. Or you looked after children with them. You could have helped care for their elderly parents. You were the ideal, beautiful, giving, caring person. You were always generous. You spent money on them. You were always so, so positive. Your energy is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But they're in the Seven of Swords. They had an agenda. And their agenda, I feel, at times was to make you feel as crazy as possible. They just wanted to make you feel as crazy as possible. For whatever reason, in their psyche, in their head... I think they've got low self-esteem. I think they they have things that they just couldn't... They didn't want to face themselves, but they had a hidden agenda, always. They were always sneaking about doing something. Um, their main goal was to save themselves. Okay, their main goal was to save themselves. Now, for some of you here... Since the separation, their main goal has to save themselves legally. Okay, if you are involved in any legal aspects with this person, or if you are not sure if they've been doing underhanded things with regard to paperwork or anything legal, they have. They have, but the energy sat here is they will get caught out. It will come to light. Um... I think for some of them there's a there's a female figure that's going to turn on them. I don't mean a third party. It could be their mother or their sister or somebody, but somebody is going to turn on them or going to uh, you know diss them really, you know, sort of speak out against them. I think for you the wool, you know, the rose-tinted glasses have come off. But this person, yeah, was definitely, definitely about saving themselves. Like I said, I've got Libra. But I've also got um, Aquarius energy, second deacon. So that is second deacon from about the 30th, 30th, 31st of Jan to about the 7th, 8th. Well, no, maybe 14th of, um, 14th of February. I'm, I'm kind of getting that. It could, actually could be the third, no, it's the third deacon, sorry. Third deacon. So they're February Aquarius. Okay. But they were definitely, definitely sneaking around. Um, just causing drama. They, they were jealous of you and they lied to get back at you. To get at you. They, they, they couldn't... I'm just getting to say, they couldn't stand your light. They, could, they couldn't cope with your your positivity. They just couldn't cope with that at all. But the conversations that you were having with them, they knew. They knew. But they manipulated those conversations so they didn't have to change. And I don't see them changing at the moment. What else is going on with them at the moment, please? 
then I'm going to get some advice for you. What is going on with them? Please, let's have some more. For some of you, they could try coming back in with an apology. Okay? Very specifically, if they think you're going to get one over on them, especially if it's legal, or if they think that you are finding the truth out about something, or that the scales of justice and karma are about to smack them in the face, they will possibly come back in to try and apologise because they don't want to lose. The person you're dealing with can be quite unstable at times. And I don't just mean mentally. I mean that the, the, effort, the effort that they put into something is quite unstable. Okay? They'll put as much effort in as they think they need to. Very, very charming to start with. Very charming to start with. You know, you think you've got a real good egg when you first meet this energy. But then they just take what they can. What else? Two more, please. Yeah, this person's got anger issues. They're very controlling. For some of you, they could have controlled who you actually see or saw. I can see them trying to monitor time with your family. Well, they always want to know what's going on. They always want to know what's going on, but they don't tell you an awful lot. Yeah. All you ever asked this person was for the truth. That's what you wanted. When you asked them for the truth, they got angry as well to deflect, and then they would blame it on you and say, oh, well, you don't trust me, why are you asking me this? Well, that's a stupid question. These are just examples, but you kind of energy that, that's, that's coming out here. But they did this on purpose because they don't want to change. They, they, don't, they really, really don't want to change. They don't want to give you the truth and they don't want to give you any answers. And I feel if they come back in with an apology or asking for forgiveness, it's because they need something from you. They need something from you. One more, please. Yeah, this was not a stable connection at all. Could have been very charming to start with, but it wasn't in the end. Very unstable, toxic. Um... They were just very manipulative. They were doing things behind your back. It doesn't mean third party. It could be the money. It just could be anything. You'll know your story, but they were doing things behind your back. Some of you, they are going to get in touch, though. They are going to get in touch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think if they do get in touch, I have got someone getting in touch here. I think they're going to come in because they don't want to lose something, especially if you're going through any legal processes at the moment. Um, but I do feel it would be a bit of a fake apology. Okay. Um, not the most positive energy today, but, you know, if it's only for a few people today, some, it is a message for somebody today. I think it will be a fake apology, and I think they've done this before. And I think for some of you, you've got hoovered back in before with this person because they've offered something. Um, they've turned the charm on. They've turned the charm on. Right, let's get some advice. Oh, let's have this deck. I can feel that energy today advice please yeah don't look back six of cups in reverse be very careful you know you've all got free will and tarot is just a weather forecast that's all it is nothing is ever ever written in stone you know the power of your own thoughts can change things the way we perceive things can change things but you know that's maybe another video for another day that's a whole different um scenario but i think the advice here is 
sometimes when we're apart, we reminisce, we remember the good times, we don't always remember the pain, the sadness and the despair. This person, I feel, will eventually play the victim again. Okay, so the advice here is don't get stuck in the past. Okay, you've been dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, and you are coming out of it. So just just bear that in mind, you know, because Seven of Swords is about, you know, can be about having rose-tinted glasses on, which we all do. You know, we, we've all done it. Um, because we believe people, we take people at face value. Well, I do. Um, and we think, yeah, you know, they're good, they're kind. But I think the advice is really, is just remember the hurt and the pain and the despondency. And I'm getting that this person tried to separate you from things that you loved. Could be family, could be a social life, could be your friends. Um, but they're still in an energy of anger. They're still in an energy of deceit. Okay, and I just feel that, yeah, you know, this just really exposes their blame game, really. You know, their blame game. And I think they will try and come back in and repeat the cycle. Okay. Let's just get a few of these cards for you. Then I'm just going to get a couple of moon cards for you before we wrap this up. Yeah, have no fear of your future. This is quite specific. Don't be frightened of the future. You know, you've been through a lot with this, this energy here. Someone's been through a heck of a lot with this energy here. I mean, some days it's just been hard to function. But have no fear, things are going to work out for you. You are stronger than you think, okay? You are divinely protected as well. You are divinely protected. I think for some of you, this relationship came to an end um, because you're divinely protected, okay? Yeah, you are. You're being helped every step of the way. I'm getting almost that you're, you know, if you if you believe in angels or if you feel you have your spirit guides around you, they are around you a lot at the moment. Their energy is with you. They're helping you along the way here. Yeah. And another one, very strong message. Let it go. That clarifies really this tarot card that came out. And saying, you know, the situation no longer serves you, you know, it's almost like the angels, your spirit guys are saying, allow me to sever the energetic connections you have with this past so that you can embrace your future. And if you have fear of letting it go, like I say, you've got free will, you don't have to, you know, this is just a reading. But if you do want to, and you are ready now just to put this... But you still have this fear, which is totally understandable when you've put your heart and soul, especially with gaslighting here, and you would have ended up with cognitive dissonance and cognitive dissonance where you don't know what on earth's going on. You know, they would have warped your version of reality to a point that it makes you physically and mentally ill. You know, it's um it's it's a cruel, it's a cruel energy, okay? But you will be okay if you let it go. You will be okay if you let it go. You are being protected and things are going to work out for you. And have no fear, you will get through this. You will get through this. Let's just have a couple of moon cards, please. Yeah, I think a lot of you are looking at the bigger picture with this now, which is great. It means that, like I was saying, you know, I've done it, you know, the blink the blink has come off and you're like, hang on a minute, um, what what is going on here? You could be dealing with Sagittarius as well, but you are seeing the bigger picture. Yeah, you're realising that this person lied, 
you're realising, um, could be Gemini as well, you're realising that they, their communication was crap. They used words to belittle you, to criticise you, to make you feel like you're going half bonkers. Bonkers, by the way, is that a UK word? Half crazy. Yeah, they just, they just manipulated the words. And they manipulated what you said. So, for example, you found out they're up to something and you say, look, can we just talk about this? I found this. Oh, you don't trust me. Why are you going through my stuff? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you've seen that now. You've seen it for what it is. Okay, you're going to win. Okay, so if you have got legal issues or there's something that's unresolved or you're owed money or that kind of thing, a win is forecast. Okay, for some of you, some of you that could be settled towards the end of September or during the month of October this year, I'm going to say to you. Again, strong Libra. There is strong Libra energy in here. Uh, Gemini, Libra. I say the February Aquarius as well is sat here. Okay, so you're going to be okay. All right, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Let's just see what happens to your person. I always do this, don't I? I say I'm wrapping it up and then I just think, oh, let's just have a... Let's just see what happened to them. I don't know why I've got this feeling. Right, right, judgment reversed. Oh dear. Not going to end well for them. Judgment reversed. No, they won't be able to move on from this, okay? They're going to learn some really, really hard lessons here. They've got some massive lessons coming for them. And if they're in another situation, there's some massive karmic lessons this person's going to learn. Okay. Um, and it's, do, it's to do with their unwillingness to, to meet you halfway. It's to do with all the blame. And, um, yeah, they're... Uh, they're getting their karma, okay? Say judgment, judgments come out in the reverse. They are getting their karma. So, and they're just going to be stuck. They're just going to be stuck in an energy of pity and blame, and it's going to eat them up, okay? I, I can see it eating them up. You know, they're just not going to be happy. But again, from your point of view, as painful as it is now, keep wielding that sword, okay, because <laughs> you're going to win this battle. Anyway, I hope that's helped someone today, quite a, a dark energy to be honest, but sending you all my love, remember you're the prize, you're worth it, I love you, keep walking your sword, your boundaries, okay, remember you're, you deserve the best in life, that's why you're here. So I send you all my love. Thanks for all the likes, comments and subscribes. Personal readings, anything else. Click on the title. It's all in the description box. Speak to you soon. Bye.